Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Angela Loves to Stitch. This is a floss tube about cross stitching and other crafts, mostly cross stitching. And this is going to be kind of a part one of a whip parade type thing. I am with, I've got so many projects because I start so many and I just need to, I need to, I need to go through them and I need to figure out which ones I want to keep, which ones I, which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't want to keep, which ones I want to give away, which ones I want to throw away. <laughs> They'll be zipping. Okay. So in this for I'm just going to get right into it. Life, life updates. There are no life updates right now. <laughs> I've been busy doing fun stuff and taking care of my parents. That's about it. Okay. These bags that look like this, I'm not going to stop and talk to you about these bags every single time because I have a lot of them, but I got them on Amazon and they have different sizes. I have no idea what size this is. It's not the biggest one, but they're fairly I think I got like a set of 30 and they're fairly, they're pretty inexpensive. And so far they're holding up. So I'm just gonna go in and they're, and they're different colors. You'll see different colors. And that's where I got these type bags this is from Amazon. All right, this first project is Henry O'Hare. This is from Lizzie Kate. And I got this in a, it, I got it off of eBay a long time ago. I, I mean, more than like maybe three years ago or maybe, maybe even more. It's a special edition kit and it came with um, a linen and then some like, um, I want to say like embellishments, I guess that after you make it into like a stand up, you can add these like, there's like a pitchfork and things like that. I've actually stitched the match to this one um, that I can't, Clara, Clara O'Hare. And I finished, but I haven't had it made into anything. And so the fabric that came in this, I'm gonna show you, is this blue. Um, it's really thin. And I didn't necessarily, I don't know, I didn't like the fabric. I don't know why. I just didn't. Clara is done on pink. And so I chose this fabric. Um, it's like a, what's well, called, what is this called? Vin, Vinci, 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 V I N C I, Vinci. And this is Ada. So it's not on a linen. I decided I'm just going to stitch it on an Ada. And it's um, 18 count. And I've done just that much. And because I've done just that much, I'm going to put this in the pile to save this fabric. I'm picking it out and I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this right now. I don't feel like it. I don't need two rabbits in my life, to be honest. So, actually, I'm going to put this little kit, let me just show you. It has this little pitchfork thing that came with it, and then this little bag of stuff. Okay? <clears throat> I'm going to include this fabric in it. The pattern has, um, I've marked on it a little bit, but just, just a little bit. You can still, you can still pretty much read what it says. And I am going to be, um, putting in this in the pile to, um, give away. So stay tuned for that <laughs> later. And it frees up a bag. Yay me. This next one 
is a pattern called Serenade Angel by Rebecca Waldrop from Serendipity Designs or Mar Marbeck. It looks like this. It's an angel and it made into a stocking. So I actually found out or saw a stocking like this from the Traveling Stocking Stitcher here on YouTube and um, asked her a couple of questions about it and found the pattern on, where did I find it? Maybe eBay. So, I started it around, you know, like last December or when I was in the mood to stitch Christmassy stuff. I bought this like eight, I think I'm doing it on Ada. And that's where I'm at on the stocking. It's using like, I'm using like Krynik and some other special floss that I can't remember, treasure braid, treasure braids that I already had in my stash. I didn't really order anything special. I was just kind of picking out similar colors to the things, to the things that I didn't have. I like the way it looks, the angel part, and I am going to continue to work on this because I feel like I've gotten, I think I've got enough done, you know, to where I feel like, hmm, I might wanna work on that a little bit more. So I think I am gonna keep this one to keep. What's this? Okay. Oh, and by the way, um, I actually am going to put all of these on a wheel to spin at some point. All right, this next one is, and these are random, and the way I have them in my closet, they were all organized, and now it's just a, just a huge jumbled mess of everything. Just, just, really bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. All right. So is this one that I've started or are these ones I finished? Give me a second. Did I finish that? Oh, this is, this is Mill Hill and I, never mind. Those are not things that, that haven't been started. So I can't really count those. <sighs> okay, well, I, next one, this is a stocking, which I've shown you before. I don't have a cover photo for it, but it is from Mary Beal, and she has a whole bunch of stockings that she's done. Um, what am I thinking? There's like 10 or more stockings and that I want to do all, I want to do all of them but this is where I'm at and I am definitely keeping this one this is a I love working on this one I don't know why I just like just don't sit down and just do it all the time and then I can get to the other ones and it tells like in this one it says um and Joseph also went up from Galilee into the city of David to be taxed with and that's all I've got but the Christmas like story in the Bible. I will be keeping this one too. I feel like I'm going to be keeping all of these. I don't, I don't need to keep all of them. I need to get rid of some of them. This is in another bag. It's bigger though. It's bigger. Can you tell the difference? This pattern from Nor Corbett, it is Yep, it sure is. <laughs> What's the name of it? Electra. Electra. And I ordered all, I think, the supplies with it. Beads, all the beads and things. And I am right here. And I'm keeping this one too, because I've I've done so much of it already. All 
this isn't work this isn't working out very well <laughs> okay this next one I'm confused. All right, so from the trilogy, Nativity Trilogy, this is Joseph. And it's all I've done. And I have it all like the threads still sorted out with the beads. Here's the pattern. All right. I'm giving this away. So, um, if you don't mind that I've already sorted out the threads and kind of started on it and marked up the chart just a tiny little bit that much, then be on the lookout for that. Okay, and here's another one in this bag. So there's two. And this is Winter Holiday. It is Christmas Cardinal. And this is like a little ornament, I believe. Counted glass beads with treasures. I guess it's an ornament. I don't know. And that's what I've done so far. And I am gonna keep this one because I'm working on ornaments. It's a keep. This is one that I'm just like, what the heck? All right. So, this is one that I've started. Have I started this? Hold on a second, let me. This, I don't know why this is in here. This goes with something else. This is a pattern that I got from Blackberry Lane Designs. It's called Starry Starry Night, part one pendant. And these are like tiny little full coverages that have to do with, um, you know, the nativity basically. And there's two patterns in here, and, but they're like full coverage, but pretty easy to do. And I saw where I saw these first, is on made by Michelle McGraw, made these into little ornaments. She's so talented. And I was like, I have got to have those patterns. And so like I ordered all of them, I think. But I've only started on, which one is this? I don't even know which one I'm started on. Which one have I started on? Which one is this? Um, I think I started on this one. I thought it would be easier than that with all the color changes. And this is where I'm at, and I'm going to keep this one too. Because, I, although that doesn't look like very much, it was very much. It was very much. Oh, I just need to take this out. So... I also ordered this one after the market. It's called 324 and it's by Works by ABC. And I started it, but I didn't get very far at all. And then I um, picked it out of a um, piece of fabric. So I'm just gonna save this for later on and count this as a non-started project. New bag, or a free bag. <laughs> Yay. And you know, I, I, it's cute and everything, but it's just a lot. So, 
I don't need to be starting anything new. I'm finding these things and I'm just like, what? I spent so much money on these things and I just, <laughs> This is Bella Filipina. It is Urdu, Urduja, Urduja, I think it's called. You know what? I think it's in my closet because I put on a scroll. Let me just stand up and go get it. You're gonna have to just ignore me. <laughs> I have a tennis skirt on. on the ground very long. Okay. <laughs> Can you see what I've done so far? Is this the right side? Yeah. I don't even know which, if it's upside down or not. I have no idea which way this goes, but I am gonna keep this on because, just because the amount of money that I put in, that I spent on it, I feel like I gotta keep it. <laughs> I've gotta keep it. I can't just, uh, I don't know, keep picking that up. All right, what's this? <laughs> I mean, the look on my face, y'all are like, probably like, oh my gosh. It's like I forget these things are in here. This is from Mirabilia. It's um, there. <laughs> Whatever her name is. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what, I don't know what her name is. Let me just find it. I don't want it without showing the complete pattern here. Um, where is the other part of this pattern? Oh it's, on, oh, it's on the other side. This is called Camille and Bloom. And um, this is what I have done on that one on this fabric that I, oh, it's a hanging mess of threads. I bought all the supplies and beads. <laughs> it looks like her hair actually, <laughs> these threads hanging down. <laughs> and I think I am gonna keep this one too. Uh, you know what, actually, this is a maybe. And I know y'all are like, what, you spend so much? I just don't think I'll ever, and I bought all the supplies that go with it. It's a maybe, it's a maybe. And I'm like, I mean, I might give it away, but the thing, is, the thing is, although it works so much on it, I, and I've met, marked up the pattern, and so that's why it's a maybe, because I don't know if anybody would even want it, because my pattern's all mar marked up, and because of all those hanging threads. Hey, do me a favor. If you if you would if it doesn't if you wouldn't comment below if you wouldn't care to like get something that was already started that much with hanging threads all over and the pattern marked up. I'm just curious. Maybe. Okay, I think y'all might just flip out when I tell you that, when I show this. This is the Haunted Mansion. And then there's also all the parts that go with the Haunted Mansion, all the rooms, all the different rooms that look like, like that, the rooms. And I've done that much that much on it and it's on I don't even know what the name of this fabric is tarnished it's 14 count Ada 
and I'm on that first room and I don't want to finish it. Does anybody want to do this? Finish it? I'll send you the patterns and this. All right, I'll, I'll probably have to do it in a separate video. <laughs> would, you, would you be interested in that? Like I'm not, I'm just, don't, don't answer me on that because I'm probably just going to put it in a different video because then I'm going to get, I'm going to get all confused and everything. But you know what? I don't want, I decided that I don't want to do it because it's too like cutesy and it's really just not me. This is the very first project that I like worked on. This is before I knew what 14 count and 18 count, all the, what count meant. I didn't even know what count meant. I mean, I knew what 14 count and 16 count. I didn't know what it meant. So, um, I'm giving this away. Yep. This is the project that I've been looking for. I've had this piece of fabric and I was like, where does this go? All right. This is from the Crossed Wing Collection. It's this Cardinal Biscor Nest. So it's like a Biscor new. Isn't that cool? That looks like a nest. And then it also has like this like little pink keep or scissor fob that goes with it. And what I have so much, what I've completed so far, and I have no idea where the thread is or the floss that goes with this, but is that and I'm keeping this because I like it. I mean, I think it's cool looking. And I finished all the over one. Those are, that's over all of that. And there was over one. So I really, honestly, kind of done. I've done the hard part. All I got to do is just make X's now. Regular old X's. With like three or four different colors. So I am going to keep that. Ooh. needle. Oh, it's a bulb. It's one of those easy glide, my favorite needles. Where did this come out of? But this is like gold to me. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like a two pack. Can you see? Well, you probably can't see the tip of it. It's like a ball. I think it is. Feels like it, but I can't really see because I don't have my readers on. It's a tiny, like, little ball on the tip. Uh, there's, like, like two, just a pack of, like, two of these is, like, $8. So, I'm happy to have that. All right, this is actually... A pattern that I think I picked up at StitchCon. And it's ink circles, five o'clock. And just has a clock shape with a bunch of drinks and stuff. And <laughs> that's all I'm done. So I am going to pick that out. Put the pattern back in this little thing. I'm picking this out and using this fabric for something else. And then just saving this pattern for maybe later if I decide I want to do it. Because, and I got a, another empty bag. Because just I just need to, that's why. This last one's, I think, really gonna surprise you. I might look at it and go, but I don't know where it is. Oh, wait, never here it is. Okay. Bella Filipina, Pontus and Thalassa. Las Thalassa. I don't know how you say it. I'm saying it that way. I have no idea how to say it. It come. It came with all the bead or the pack. I got all the bead packs. I think I ordered them from someplace. 
have all these flosses that are a tangled mess. DMC and then more DMC. Hanging threads. I've done that. I love this fabric. And again, let me ask this question. If you, if I offered this in a giveaway, would you want it? With the hanging threads, with me already starting it, with me marking on the pattern, like I, I don't even think I made working copy. I might have. I may. I think I made working copies, but let's just get. Let's just go ahead and say that maybe I didn't. Okay, like if I didn't, but you can still kind of see the symbols. Would you? Would you want it? Like with just the floss and this, and the pattern. Or would it make a difference like if I threw in the beads that went with it? <laughs> Let me know. If that's something that, you know, if I were to actually put it in a giveaway, would that be something that people would actually want? Because I decided I just don't want to stitch it. I don't know where I put it. I honestly don't know where I put it. Okay, so this is a maybe, get another maybe. Okay, did I get through all the things that are around here? Um, hold on and I'll be right back. Okay. This is something that I just recently started during September. This is because it was sampler September and it was a pattern that I wanted to start because I had the kit and I didn't know what was holding me back from starting it. So I decided to start it in September and I did. And actually it's, <laughs> I didn't get very far, but it's from the Scarlet House. It's called a sampler for all seasons. And it has the sampler and it has the pink heaps. And the kit that I got has the MPI silks. And I started it. And you know when I started it? I started it on the day that the hurricane was hitting because when I looked at the, um, the pattern in the very middle, it was starting like right where it said like the wind was howling and the raindrops were falling or whatever it says. What does it say? It says, the wind may howl, raindrops may fall. That's part of it. Well, it says, when the weather is hot, rainy or cold, I look at my chart and stitch as I'm told. The, the wind may howl, raindrops may fall. I'm in my own world and safe from it all with colors of thread from every hue. It makes me happy, this much is true. So, I started it with howl and raindrops and that's all I got. I was doing it as the rain was falling and the wind was howling. <laughs> A little bit we didn't it didn't it didn't um luckily do very much here we lost our power a couple times just from a trees some trees falling random trees but it wasn't bad and honestly i just want to take this time right now to say how how my thoughts and prayers are with, with everyone, especially in the Western North Carolina area. Um, and, um, I know that South Georgia, I mean, I know there are parts of Florida, South Georgia, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, but the things that I have been hearing about the West North Carolina areas like Asheville and Boone and all these other areas, it's heartbreaking and um and my husband's actually talked to someone who firsthand like had parent 
has their parents like stuck up there, but they've been seen and located, but the only way that they saw them is they had to, was by helicopter <laughs> because they're on like a ridge and they can't, no one can get to them. And the guy is on oxygen. And anyway, it's just, uh, it's, it's awful. And so, I'm, in fact, I need to donate. I'm going to donate some stuff. I need to, that reminds me, I need to take it. So I was almost hesitant to even, <laughs> to even start this because of that memory. But then I was like, you know what? No, I am going to keep stitching on it. And every time I stitch on it, I'm going to remember and think about these people and pray and pray for them. And, um, you know, and when I build those houses, I'm going to think of them like rebuilding their lives and just, you know, I don't want them. I don't want this. I don't want this to pass without thinking of this and set and remembering these people who have lost so much and so much lives are lost. And I wish that I could just like stitch them back, you know, but I can't, but this will, this will keep it on my mind. And, and, you know, all I can do is just stitch and pray actually. So I am keeping this. I'm not getting rid of an F. I'm not getting rid of an F. This is one I just started. It's actually, I decided, and I'm not gonna, I was gonna do it on this as a little stocking, but I decided that I don't think I want to do it because I don't really like those colors. So I'm probably just going to cut it out and not do it. So I'm going to take all this stuff out of this bag. It was like these little Christmas stockings. I don't have a cover photo, I don't think. I might do another one, but I just didn't like the colors on those. The color. Let's see. Oh, here's a here's a cover photo. So you can kind of see it's not a good cover photo. What I'm talking about. It's like she's like old stockings. But yeah, I started it and I was like, mm, no, I don't need to be working on that. A few more. Okay, this is a another one of those trilogies. And it is actually, <laughs> I put the floss on this thing, this like, I don't know. And it's marked, it's this weird thing I ordered. This like, and it has these, grooves in it. So, and the beads are, did I even show you what I've done so far on it? That, I've done that much on it. And I think I'm actually, and I've marked up the pattern, but you can probably still read it, and I'm, act, and I'm going to give this away. I'm going to give it away with this, with the pattern, with what I've started on that paper, and There's some beads in here, but I don't know what they go to. Cause I haven't have I beaded on that yet? Did I even do? Oh, I did. A, I did some beads. So I have opened some beads, but I can put them back in. Cause I think I have a bag here. Yeah. So that's another one that I'll be giving away at some point. Stay tuned so you can find out when. Let's see. Okay, here's another one. That is from Buttons and Beads. Um, this is Aurora, oh no, I'm sorry. It's called, yeah, Aurora Borealis. It's from Mill Hill. And it has beads in it. Some of these are glow in the dark. And I've done this much. And I think I am gonna keep this one. So 
so cute. And then this last one I'm going to talk about, and then I'm going to stop this video, this part one, I'm going to stop it, and then I'll continue the next one whenever I get around to it. Okay, so this is the Ghost Trilogy. This is the only one I have out of the Ghost Trilogy. It's so cute. And did I finish it? No. I've done, is there a needle in it? I've done that much. Isn't it cute? So I don't have very much to do. That's, I don't have much left. And do I want to keep this or, or give it away? Okay. I'm gonna, okay. So let me just show you what I did. So I've used just the regular, the floss and everything that came with the kit. But in this part right here, I'm using glow in the dark, glow in the dark thread, which is what is this? It's sulky, maybe? I think it's sulky. What's this? It's called Glowy. So I was using that in that in that part. So I'm gonna give this away. <laughs> I'm just never. I, I'm just not gonna. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. I'm probably not gonna make it in anything. The pattern's marked on. I think I'm gonna give this away. Maybe. This is a maybe, this is a maybe. I've done so much of it. <laughs> Where's the maybes? Okay. Okay, so all in all, I have One, two, three, four, four that I'm probably going to give away, three that I may give away, and one, two, three. I don't know, too many that I still kept, <laughs> but I've got to do this. And I could, that could change. That could change. Like I might decide to give some more of these that I decided to keep. I might decide just to, I don't know. But my problem is, is that I just don't know if anyone would want them. If I, if I did that, if I decided to do that. So, like I said, this is not, this is not where I'm going. This is not the, don't, don't comment me or anything yet, okay? This is just me going through stuff in my mind. I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going, what, how I'm gonna do this or when I'm gonna do it. I may start in the next video. That's why you have to come back and watch. Um, but before I even start, I just need to know would people, like, would you, take someone's work and finish it if they didn't you know if they don't want to finish it is that a thing let me know okay but yeah please don't say like all this other stuff like don't say giveaway don't say don't say all that stuff because I still don't even though this isn't a giveaway right now I just don't want people like coming on here and saying stuff okay <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, and I will be back with part two whenever I get around to it, hopefully maybe tomorrow.
Bye.